Hi, this is problem 10.2, and we want to find the centroid of this circular plane. This is a quarter of a circle. If we like to recall how much is the area, well, we know that the area of a circular plane is pi r squared. Therefore, the area of this quarter of a circle will be pi r squared over 4. So in order to find the centroid, we have to use the definition of centroid, which is x equals the integral of x, the area over the total area. And the total area, we already know how much it is. So x, this is an integral over the area, therefore it's a double integral. If we want to find x, we have to choose a differential of area right here that will be located at r and theta, therefore x will be r sine of theta, and y will be r sine of theta. So when we substitute my differential of area in cylindrical coordinates in terms of r and theta, and this will be a double integral that goes from 0 to pi half, because that's how I cover theta, and it will be from 0 to r, and then x, I already wrote that is r cosine of theta, and my differential of area will be r the theta, the r or the r the theta. And add all that divided by my total area, which is pi r squared over 4. So I can integrate those variables, first r or first theta. They are independent, so let me integrate first by r. So that will be equals to 0 to pi half. This is r squared, therefore it's r cubed, right? So I have cosine of theta, the theta, and that all that we will multiply by r cubed over 3, evaluated between 0 and r, divided by pi r squared over 4. So as you see, this 4, I can place it at the top and this in the bottom, pi, and I will see that once I evaluate that r, I can cancel one of the, the r cubed divided by r squared, I get r. And then I have the integral from 0 to pi half of cosine of theta, the theta. The integral of cosine is sine, therefore I have 4 r over 3 pi sine of theta evaluated between 0 and pi half. That gives me 4 r 3 over pi sine of pi half minus sine of 0. This is sine of 0. So and sine of 0 is equal to 0. And sine of pi half is equal to 1. Therefore, I found that the centroid of that figure is 4 r over 3 pi. We will do exactly the same for my y direction, and it's very similar, so very quickly. I will now integrate from 0 to pi half, 0 to r. r now r is r sine of theta, right? So r of theta, the r, the r, the theta divided by the total area, which is pi r squared over 4. And as you see, I integrate over r, and it's very similar. And I will, the only difference is that here we have the integral instead of the cosine. We have the integral of sine, so that will give me 4 r over 3 pi, the integral of 0 to pi half sine, of theta the theta, and you know that the integral of sine is the negative cosine, that if I evaluate in pi half, when I evaluate that, gave me 0 minus 1, with this minus give me the 1, right? So at the end, this is 4 r over 3 pi. What that means is that for a plate like that, so if I draw my plate again right here, and this is x, 
and this is why my centroid of that plate will be located at 4r over 3 pi in x and also in y. This value you will be able to find it in the tables for centroid. But it's very important that you know where that value comes from.